I really hope that there comes a moment when Temple Monk gets his eyes go all centrifugal, like uh, the circles start appearing, and then it starts glowing, because that's what happens to all the really cool, important characters when they're about to pop off, right? Welcome back to another episode of Blue Lock. Last episode, we're underway with the match against the trio that seems to be really, really strong, right? So, Nagi's just really ridiculously gifted, talented. The purple hair dude, uh, he's got rich parents. And then Zantetsu, right? So, he is faster than Shigiri during short distance right but if it's a little bit longer then shigiri can ramp up and become even faster so it's interesting to see that they are both fast in their own regards but they have their own advantages in different part parts raichi's goal is to lock the purple hair dude down so he's a defenseman even though he should be a striker and i'm still a little bit you know conflicted on how this really makes sense but that's his role right now he's doing a good job finally we get to see Raichi actually be useful instead of just like yap 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 and then off screen and then he just starts yelling like I'm gonna kill you or something and then that's been his running gag this entire time Temple Monk versus Nagi okay I've been saying how Nagi has the talented but lazy persona and the Temple Monk is the exact opposite N no talent but all heart he works so hard he'll never give up there was one play where Nagi kind of took a shot it was ridiculous because I think it was the shot where he like caught a ball did a 180 mid volley and was that the shot that temple monk took it in the face but there was a shot where he blocked it with his face that's something pretty much just like how temple monk uh would perform but i really want him to have his own like awakening moment where he, again the eye starts glowing and he does something crazy but that sounds a little bit too meme i, I don't know maybe I i've got you know, maybe I shouldn't expect these kind of things from Temple Monk, but it'd be just so funny because of the character he is, right? So, another thing that Ego or Isagi has been talking about is awakening. So, if your weapon isn't working in this circumstance, then you need to use a tool plus opportunity. I forgot the exact formula. But people are awakening and they're able to do different shit than they usually do, right? You know, Kurosaki Ichigo, I, sh I should call him Kunigami. He just looks like Ichigo so much. He like has a new shot where he kicks the ball from an, like an outer radius than he usually kicks it at. And then it's like a knuckleball now and it starts like whoop, drip. And then we're, we're catching up on goals. This is looking pretty good. It's looking pretty bad for Clone. Clone though is a wild card. So if we get, mo if somebody, is it a matter of somebody getting three or more goals than him? Then he gets disqualified even if he loses a team. So if, if, if we if we lose and no one else scores, Quone can advance. But if we get more goals, then he has to kind of help us. So it's going to be interesting to see if he will actually help out or if he will just continue being a rat. I hope it's the former. I hope there's some kind of redemption arc for him. But we'll see how it goes. Let's watch today's episode. He's panicking. But like he's cheering the other team on right now. This is ridiculous because ashamed. Remember when Quone went to them and said, do you need the intel, right? Can I help you out? He got rejected. Has he, does he have no shame? Like, what the fuck, dude? Even Ego said, this guy's a piece of shit, right? This is ingenuine. But Raichi's got you locked down. What you gonna do? All his motivation comes from, like, defying his rich parents, saying that they couldn't, uh, they said that he shouldn't even pursue this, right? I mean, it's kind of crazy if you think about how it's only been six months. Raichi? Oh shit, the aura already around Raichi? Well, it's kind of expected for a kind of like Raichi because, you know, he does have some level of design onto him. He doesn't look like a complete just NPC character, like compared to Temple Monk. I need a Temple Monk scene though, dude. I love characters like him. Are we really that much of an advantage right now? Maybe they're gonna awaken too. Look, 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 he's doing so much monologuing. No, I feel like he's gonna awaken too. Nagi's going in. Bails him out. Okay. I don't know, he just ran to him. That is kind of true. He is taking. I'm gonna actually try now. Is that what he's saying? Because he took initiative for the first time. What is he trying? Something like what a Bachira did? No! Temple Monk, please do something! It's fine. I don't know. It's, it's, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. He's about to do like a solo run like Bachira, I think. Uh oh. Uh oh. Zantatsu, Chigiri. It's okay, but if there's a long enough distance, you can catch up. 
Oh no, Nagi's eyes, they got the circles in it, man. It's not a good thing. Wait, it's a good thing for them. And then Rail gets motivated from that. He's actually trying. This is bad. The one thing that we had over Nagi was that he didn't give a shit. He was lazy as fuck. But now, he's actually trying. He's gonna give it his all. Oh no. <laughs> lemon, please! A lemon, awaken! Goalkeeper, do something! Here comes a ridiculous goal. Alright, let's see it. Naga's gonna do something nuts, right? Google is still trying, though. What is he doing? This is it. Just, just, just give him the goal. This looks too cool. Just, just give him the goal. Yeah. Three motherfuckers in front of him. He still gets a goal mid-air after catching it. I that is him. But this is bad because he's actually trying. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Not only does he have the aura, not only does his eyes have the circles, he's actually actually trying now. The one advantage we had over this lazy, talented genius. It's gone. Temple Monk, you need to awaken. Yeah. Raichi? <laughs> I think Raichi has a point, though. This donkey and I will figure it out. Wait, why is Raichi calling Isagi donkey, too? That's a King Baro thing. You know, usually he makes no sense and all he does is yell, but he, this is, he's absolutely right. And again, he has to play defense that he hates, because he's a striker, they're all strikers. Think about how Lemon feels, man. Damn, what a speech by Raichi! But, we'll see. Redeeming my goner, it's honor! Remember, Zantet's whole thing is he looks smart, but he's dumb as fuck. I like his running gag. He's there already. Nagi's there already. And then Zantet immediately cuts back. They all call him. They all call him Ojo. Oh! What were you the. He sniffed it out. Now what, though? Oh, he just kind of like boxes him out. Okay. If Chigiri gets a goal, that's two goals for him. That's three overall, actually. No, 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 no. That's three overall, like, in, in the entire game that he's had. And then if he does that... Ne heartbreaker. Heartbreaker. Because if somebody gets three or more, then they're tied with phones for scoring. Right? And that's what we want to get to. Gagamaru! Oh, he's actually gonna kick! Bro, what's with the- His goalpost is paid off! Bro, what is- Okay, Kunigami now! Sure! Go Ichigo! Show me a Bunkai kick! That would look like an actual spin though. Okay, is that- Three goals for him now, right? And look at the scene from Kuo, he just realized- Oh shit, I can't do my game plan anymore. Hey, you're just making a play, you're the playmaker on the field. In fact, you could argue that his weapon is the most useful. Because, like, he, he, <laughs> that's a little dramatic. <laughs> Foresee the future of this field, but he's right. Cool flashback? The fuck? Oh, so he. This is weird seeing him like this. I mean, we saw this face in the beginning before he betrayed us. I wonder if he betrayed this team too or what happened here. What happened to this, you know, pure nice boy? When did he go so wrong? He's getting a little toxic. So he has like, yeah. So he's like projecting his own standards to everybody else. And if they can't keep up. And what Kwon's saying isn't wrong, but like if other people don't have the level of talent or desire as Kwon, it just gets so toxic. I don't think everyone else is as invested as you, man. And from here on, he decided that he can't trust anybody? Jesus, that's a little personal. But kind of true, I guess. 
But what they're looking for is just fun. He wanted to win. From here on, he realized he can't trust anybody. That's a, that's a bit too dramatic, but okay. This is how he turns. Yeah! He was the one that declared to Quone, didn't he, that I too will go like, beyond you? I, I remember a scene like that in the cafeteria, I think. Is he, is he really gonna not do anything? I feel like this might be the time for his redemption arc. No. Even though he's... He opened his eyes. No, he's gonna help us out. I feel like he's gonna help us out now. I don't know why, but based off that flashback, it's not that he doesn't care. Like, he has ambitions like that. He just gave up, but... Mm, no, I, I think Quone might be the last piece for us to win. Even though he basically was trying to convince himself, don't do anything. Hmm. So Yusaki can like lock down Nagi like this with the field division. What if Nagi predicts that? Neither? Header? Passes inwards? I don't know. What? Uh, uh, that was not a header, but that was not his like that. What? Did he just pass to himself? Lemon! Lemon! Cool moment. Remember, who can jump the highest in our team? Kwon can. I... No, no, no. Kwon's about to do something. Yeah, he's back. No, he's back. I, I think... Kwon! Kwon! No fucking way. They just did an entire flashback of him monologuing, right? There, there's no fucking way he doesn't clutch right now. Watch. Watch. Nani! Wait. This is. Wait, wait, this is soccer. You can't just. <laughs> the motherfucker playing football! I mean, soccer is football, in certain... but you know, American football. Dude, you just tackled me! <laughs> I. I. This is... I did it. That was the last thing I expected. He, he changed his ways. He realized this is wrong. What he's saying is probably not wrong either. This is his redemption arc, huh? Everybody's in the same field now. Yeah. Now we gotta win. I think this is almost like Kong showing his worth to the team once more, like his loyalty or trust. Like, I know he fucked them, but this time... By putting himself in a vulnerable position like this? I don't know about that part. But the fact that his eyes are also open for a character that never opens his eyes. It, it's just like... This is a redemption. Everybody wants to become the best. I, and we gotta have that ego. Alright, let's fucking go, boys. Penalty kick. Ooh. Is this our first penalty kick of the season? What you have to do is just cover your cover your nuts and try to block it. Temple monk, block it with your face. Lemon, please. Lemon, just fucking block a goal, please. <laughs> it's not even worth like thinking like that either. So then you get in your own head and you don't even, you're not even focusing. Just move with the ball. Oh wait, lemon. Lemon just activated his own for a second! No! Lemon has a fiend too? Someone's moving though, someone's moving though, Zantatsu! Temple Monk, Lemon, somebody. Oh! Raichi! From the wall. Okay, shit. Uh, uh oh. That's the one person that we didn't. Oh shit. Oh no, look at his face! Look at his face! <laughs> it's her own! Oh, what a graceful little touch. No, no, somebody, guys! It's not in yet! It's not in yet! Oh, wait, did that hit the goalpost? I think Kakamaru kicked this straight up! That last play was insane! Doesn't it make you want to fight hard too? Yeah. They just might. The ball still fa Thank fucking god. Okay. 
Kun's actually cheering for us now. Let's go. Oh, no. Fuck. I, the episode went by so fast. What a cliffhanger. But it's looking like we're about to get a triumphant goal and succeed to the next round. Man. So, Kwon does get his redemption. Like, it literally looks genuine. I don't think it's going to betray us like, um, betray us in the future because you can't just reuse that kind of, like, card again. It'd be too cheesy, right? So, it's nice to see that he was a piece of shit, but he had good intentions. He really wants to try hard. Unfortunately, how things panned out. But he did tackle Nagi and put himself in a vulnerable position so that he can kind of say, hey... Even though I was kind of, I could have advanced by myself, I will prove to you guys that, you know, I'm one of you. So I hope that kind of goes through. Lemon actually awakened. <laughs> I can't believe we get to see Lemon's aura. His eyes just like glow white as we block that shot. Amazing block by a great shot. I, 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 I kind of gave up hopes on Lemon. I was like, oh, whatever. I guess he'll just be like a default captain and just kind of go over the plays. And he has a leadership role, but he won't have like, any cool epic moments. No, he actually <laughs> he actually did have a really cool epic moment. Temple Monk, still haven't seen him with his aura yet. We've seen even Raichi with the aura. So I think it's Temple Monk. And actually the other guy that talks about how soccer is about like getting girlfriends about how they're out of his league or something like that. I don't think I've seen anything from him just yet. And uh, what's, it, what's it called? What's it called? Nagi is pretty nuts, but we already kind of should expect that from now. He, he he's just ridiculous. He he's just dummy ridiculous. Isagi looks like he's about to clutch with this new awakening. Well, no, he kind of already realized it. It's just that he can make plays. And if you think about it, everybody has their own individual weapons that just kind of works alone. But Isagi can make his weapon be such that he can incorporate everyone else's weapon and basically just like orchestrate the entire play. He's a playmaker. So I would argue that that is the best weapon out of them all. Basically, instead of just using one weapon, he's using like, you know, like 11 weapons at a time. Oh man, I think we're going to probably win this. There's no way we're not, we're not, we're going to lose, but I hope that everyone else kind of like advances and I, I would imagine that the teams are going to get shuffled again. So maybe all these players that we're seeing right now, the important ones, will be able to like play with in the future such as maybe even king borrow i don't know but hey if you stick around the song if you enjoy my reaction you already know what i'm gonna say check out the other videos and playlists to my channel if you watch another video immediately after this one it helps the youtube i'll push my small channel to recommend so that i have a chance to compete with some of your favorite reactors and until next time guys take care